Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Oreo Remix A7 2018 port running Android 8.0.0 Oreo for our Galaxy J7 2016. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, first of all, sorry for this. Like, I have uploaded this very late. Also, I haven't made J7 2016 videos because I didn't have this device, it was with my brother. So, yeah, now I promise to make it on time, like, whenever I get it from him cause his device is broken so he's using mine so yeah i hope you guys understand and let's start with today's video so guys talking about the oreo remix from it is actually a downgrade like api downgrade so we are going from android 8.1.0 to android 0.0, .0 as you can see samsung experience 9.0 you can see the baseband version crk1 which i flashed and then you can see uh kernel version 3.18.131 which is the oxygen kernel and we have this build number you can see Oreo Remix from a 2018 port by Karthik1731 Selenix status is permissive so you can install various mods like the Viper and the or other mods Viper for Android and other mods audio mods and other stuff and you can see we get a 1 December 2018 security batch so we don't get the 2019 January or Feb patches starting with the launcher we can see we get this uh, touch face launcher like in every Oreo ROMs we get and also on Nougat but on Oreo, we get some extra stuff like open quick open notification panel. It was present in 7.1.1, I guess. But yeah, still, let's take a look. After we can see, we get this uh, search bar uh, new for Oreo. Also, we have native blur on the app drawer. So that's really cool. Not on the quick notification so panel. So, as moving towards the app drawer, you can see this ROM is bloated with a lot of like non-useful apps you can see linkedin facebook now these apps could have been removed but i don't know why it's not removed like it's an actual port but if it was debloated then it would have looked better and clean like you can see all these shit apps like no one even care about them and like it's samsung's problem they bloat the firmware with a lot of apps like facebook instagram and a lot of stuff also we do get to see the a7 2018 wallpapers so in the wallpapers you can see we have all and here we get all of the a7 2018 wallpapers so like these are really awesome man like it looks really good as you can see on the uh app drawer the blur looks really good also on the home screen it looks really well and nice let's take a look at the touch face features here so into the settings you can see into display so we get all usual stuff also we have blue light filter working as you can see yellowish layer over the that's blue light font and screen zoom and we have this four fonts not like we don't have the font mode then full screen apps so this is all touch with set LED indicator we don't have it it's on a 2018 as it is a port like we don't get it so navigation bar is enabled by present i have just flashed the no nav bar zip which will remove the navigation bar and which is best suited for this device so like yes i have just removed it so if you want you can just flash the rom not the nav bar zip then into wallpapers so i've already shown you that advanced features yeah it's all same we get another you can see record screen so you can also record the screen with high quality while playing games finger screen gestures sadly we don't have any finger screen fingerprint reader so yeah react sad on the comments for that then smart stay and all other shit touch sensitivity we don't have that screen so it won't make any difference and yeah face recognition is working so let's just set it up i haven't set it up uh, we'll just quickly uh, set it up now okay i haven't uh, like washed my face so please okay i have inputted the secure pattern saved continue again continue okay so now i have to okay 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 so i have to Okay, uh, I haven't had a ba bath till now because I have this. Don't want to get it wet, but yeah, let's check if it works. And yeah, don't look at the face. That's like really shitty face. Okay, I'm getting close to it. Okay, it actually did the work. Okay, as you can see, it actually did the work. So I let's like, can close. 
Okay, it works. Uh, for me, like there's this phone and like I'm shooting, so it is slow, but yeah, it really works that well. So I will show you guys like this. Okay, it's not recognizing me. Okay, it works. So it's because of the like limited space available here, but yeah, it works really well. It won't work in dark because we don't have some uh, like infrared uh, stuff, but yeah, it works normally. So that's now good. let's take a look at the camera. So yeah, you can see get this uh, normal user interface for Oreo. And yes, all of the modes are present. You can see tag shot. All of the modes suitable are present here. Night mode. Uh, yeah, I guess that works. Uh, yeah, it was on stock too. AR emoji also there. So you can create emoji. And yeah, that's some basic stuff. And it only works with messages. I think like creating stickers and selfie also works really well you can see me shooting with the galaxy I said oh back to focus shit okay so everything working fine yeah video recording and all zoom and all shit it's a bit laggy because maybe it's ported from the ASN 2018 but yeah works really well also guys this rom is uh, uh, pre-rooted with magisk but you need to update the magisk manager because it showed me oh and it's not getting updated so maybe you can just like uninstall it and like flash the latest magisk so it's not working for me so just flash the latest magisk with the rom and yeah that would work for you yeah i can see i've shown you this uh, if it works for you out of the box like not out of the box like you after the every after completing the setup then it's that's good but it didn't work for me i don't know why so i will just flash magic afterwards so now let's move to the installation of our device complete uh, yeah i guess i don't use this device anymore yeah sometimes i use it but now it's with my cousin brother so yeah just like telling so let's start with the installation first Guys, let's start with the installation and make sure you have tlrp installed yes like i always don't say this so press the volume up home and the power button at the same time boot your device into TLRP recovery mode go to wipe dialog system data cache go to install install the rom and if you want the navbar remover i will show you how the like only the navbar like without removing the navbar looks like so if you just want to see, I will just like reboot into system. So let this uh, get installed. So as you can see the Oreo Remix ROM, the firmware base is J6 latest firmware. So it's not also the J716 and the ported firmware is A7, so A7 2018. So yeah, just want to tell you that. I said it got rebooted after installation. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah, I had that auto reboot after installation on. And you can see, uh, Okay, now the boot engine should come up. Okay, boot logo. Okay, it's taking a long time. Yes, finally came. I thought boot loop, but I don't know why. Like, I did everything correct. So yeah, that's the correct thing. If you want to flash magic, just like wait for it to boot like you have to reboot again after booting because i will tell the like it will feel you laggy so just reboot once and then everything will be fine then set up the device or like set up and then reboot and then flash magic that will be really awesome and yeah that's it guys for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button so yeah and before ending i will just show you how the now bar thing looks so yeah let's just skip this part so guys after the device boots uh, just want to tell you it like lags a lot so just perform a reboot so you can see the power menu is also not getting accessed so you can see it lags a lot just reboot once and it will get fixed so yeah i'm going to do that uh first let it respond okay see it again got cracked just need to take up the up to power menu Okay, so this is actually weird i don't know what's wrong with the uh okay okay uh, just click on restart and let it restart once and then you can set up the device like peacefully so because after the fresh reboot i uh, can see 
started optimizing apps that would do it here yeah. now you can see you can easily access the setup so i'll just go through it uh, quickly okay so you can see no lags now working fine i agree so i'll just like skip this uh, next oh thank you okay more, more okay yeah the video ending is taking a lot of time i know guys but sorry for that so i'll just like quickly skip this finally it's finished so oops. oh i like always like use this button i don't know why and guys you can see it's booted and this is how it looks with navbar the app drawer gets a uh, gets a bit messed you can see the icons are really shorter looks near uh, it looks really weird you can see so yeah i would like suggest you guys to stay and flash the navbar remover zip uh, which was with the like rom which i already told you so you need to flash that after rom yeah like before boot so yeah just do it and that's it guys for the video if you guys have really liked this video press the like button if not then subscribe button Subs sorry dislike button also subscribe to my channel press the subscribe button here so yeah and yeah turn on notification icons and that's it also if you want and yes bye bye guys i'll see you guys in the next video with the jason 16 very soon with los 16 i guess i hope i will like surely make a review of that soon if it releases and bye bye sorry for that like wasting a lot of time but yeah bye bye